Tell them that it's clear to me she's been attacked by a vampire. Excellency, please. You must understand, Augustine. No, I, have my I reasons. don't understand. Don't forget yourself, Caroline. You are the one who would have me forget myself. You know what I mean. You will show respect. Yes. Yes, of course. But, Your Excellency, I don't understand why I should not be allowed to see Durant. No, it's too dangerous. They mean to try Deliria as a vampire, for God's sake. I have heard already today that he has taken that poor woman into his custody. What? Then I must be allowed to confront him. You will do no such thing. Whatever authority he claims to possess in these matters, he is derived solely through his presence in my work. And so it follows... His theories are his own, Calais! But where did he concoct those theories? We didn't find living people afflicted with vampirism as if it were the pox. You don't even claim to believe in vampires, Augustine. Precisely. That is precisely my point. It is Durat and these sensationalist newspapers and these trials. They have transformed my findings in those tombs into Where what... you write that the nails and the beards of the dead had grown. That the Pogotowicz boy lay with blood in his mouth and cried out when he was impaled. Where you go so far as to describe how the sexual organs of these things were swollen with their lust. All of which I saw, Your Excellency. I can't explain it. It's the real desertion of which they speak, and precisely why these stories persist. But I do conclude... Yes! You conclude! At the end, Augustine, you conclude. How many of these people have read your book in its entirety? How many, I would ask you, can read at all? Or do they not just gather round one rabble-rouser for the juiciest passages? Of course they do. Do not blame Durat and the newspapers when it is your own work that incites them. But is it my fault if they read only one passage? You know, I heard once of a shepherd who lost half his flock in the river where he had taken them to I don't have time for this. You will make time. Their wool became waterlogged and heavy, and the heavier it became, the further they were drawn in, until at last, as I said, half the flock were drowned before he could rescue them. Now, where do you lay the blame? In the water? No. Perhaps you will say this with the sheep, because they are stupid. Well, as we both know, they are consistently and predictably so. No, I think it's clear. The fault lay with the shepherd who was not there to mind them as they drank. Yes. And that is exactly why you must let me go. Your Excellency, they have mistaken my meaning altogether. And now everyone sees vampires, and some see them everywhere. And then there is Durat, 
there to wag his finger in front of these bloodthirsty hordes and condemn and whim whoever he sees fit? The Church's part in this has been most unfortunate, Calvain. If I let you into the courts, whatever your position, it will only draw the Church further into this debate. But if we yield the entirety to the right, then he will eventually claim this vampirism and wash our hands of the matter altogether. Don't you see? I don't want your authority to be recognized. I want you to be forgotten in this. But, Your Excellency, this is a woman's life. The papacy wears on me like a stone, Augustine. And soon there will be nothing left but a shard. But that shard will be sharp! Now in his own way, this Gerard is our champion. Don't you see that? Our champion? Yes! Look at it that way, and pray to God for this woman's salvation. And I assure you, I will do the same. I have found in this woman God's salvation. You're overly emotional. You better take heed of your words, Augustine. I'll disregard that. I should tell you, my son, the Church would like to see you made bishop one day and return to your work in biblical scholarship, where I think your true talents and interests lay and... Please, Augustine, don't do this. Consider what it is that you are doing. Are you really ready at this moment to make a choice against your own soul and all eternity? Beware of speaking about things that you don't understand.